Alright, now as you can see, this is the Kennesaw House, also known as American Museum of History. Now, back in 1862, this was known as the Fletcher House. And if you see that window right there, James J. Andrews spent the night along with 19 other of his federal spies, as they were pretty much called. They were soldiers. Now, in 1862 of April the 12th, James Andrews and 19 of his um, of his soldiers decided to steal a northbound train going to Big Shanty, which is now known as Kennesaw. Now, in his hopes was to basically just um his hopes was basically to destroy the supply line going to Chattanooga in hopes to cut off the Confederates from resupplying troops in um, Chattanooga who was actually pursuing that way um, now in there's so many so much speculation about you know the whole truth of the whole matter but um if you come this way that's southbound going towards that way that's northbound now now we got some people taking pictures so that's probably what you hear in the background now in 18 like i said in 1862 james andrews and his fellow raiders decided to steal the general which happens to be going northbound towards chattanooga and they spent the night some say you know what had happened in the meeting that they had in upstairs now they say that james andrews supposedly went to go see henry cole at the married hotel which is actually just up the street here now that's just rumors, but they, some people say that Henry Cole actually had a, actually had a uh, hand in the in the, um, the raid. But there's actually no documentation of the raid. Um, a lot of people don't realize there was actually three trains involved. You know, you always hear about the general and you hear about the Texas, but little did they know that it was actually the Yona and the William R. Smith. Now, there's always, you know, back in the day, William, uh, William Fuller, who was actually the trans conductor, he was actually, he kind of stretches the truth, I guess. Of course, I think they all have. Um, but <clears throat> he started out running let's say it was like a couple of miles um, on foot then he wound up accompanying a push car by some people like who's actually working on the rail lines um, then he wound up commandeering the um, the Yona first near Etowah matter of fact I think there's a map right here <clears throat> yeah <coughs> to yeah, from the Etowah station. And then he gets to William R. Smith, which is right outside of Cartersville, in Kingston. Then the Texas, just outside of Darisville. Now, a lot of people say that the actual quote unquote great locomotive chase was actually started after they, William Fuller had commandeered the Texas. That's a lot of people's belief, but. You know, it all started when I think the man really started on on foot after running after his stolen locomotive. <clears throat> um, it was about, about five or six, eight, maybe eight hours into the chase. Um, now, what people, a lot of people don't realize, they see a lot of trains now called the CXX. Excuse me, the CSX trains. That is also the same train line as the Western and Atlantic, which is right here. This is the Western and Atlantic. These train tracks were right here. Then across the way, right here, is also 
um, where the um, old train station was. Now, they, um, <clears throat> if you come southbound, now if you just, now just watch for a second, and if you can see the train, the general, as you come up this way, and just coming up here and stopping right here, loading the passengers, come boarding, come <clears throat> from right here <clears throat> to these doors. You know, they look overlooking the train right here. Going northbound towards Big Shanty, which is now known as Kennesaw. <clears throat> um, like I said, this used to be called the Fletcher House, and it was a museum. Um, now, like I said, there's speculation of, <clears throat> of James Andrews meeting Hen Henry Cole. But, um, like I said, that's just speculation. There's no documentation or nothing of that nature about that um but uh i'm like i've been a little in the weather so you know my mind's not too good right now but also what's so funny about this kennesaw house was also <clears throat> like i said it was called the fletcher house and <clears throat> it's funny because also this was used as General Sherman's brief headquarters and ironically enough the men's bathroom on the second floor there the men's bathroom was actually Sherman's headquarters I find that here funny toilet humor whatever you want to call it um also during Sherman's march and during the war that this was also used oh, we got a flag attack this was also used as a hospital and morgue for uh, the uh, soldiers they also say that um, it is haunted I've seen pictures of the ghost and it looks pretty haunted I myself will be doing some ghost investigations fairly soon, hopefully, um, on that, because I would like to catch some stuff myself, even though I've seen some pictures of the ghost. They've actually caught on their closed circuit cameras, TVs. Um, <clears throat> like I said, it used to have four floors. See, now it's got one, two, three. It used to be floor. It used to be four, but I believe. Let me see what it says here. Yeah, the fourth floor actually caught on fire as ashes from an other building blew into the roof when Sherman came through, and Sherman basically burnt the town down. Now, <clears throat> and then, like I said, as you can see. Now, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but, like, if you look, I don't know if it's hard, maybe hard to see, but, like, right here, where it's kind of black, that might have been some burn marks, but that was such a long time ago. <coughs> um, Like I said, you know, I'll probably do a better video, but this is just kind of a brief gist of it, Um, like I said, I have been under the weather, so I've been kind of you know, having to deal with that, but, um, you know, like I said, if you just, like I said, just think, seeing the, the locomotive, the general, come rolling up here, stopping, and then, right, like I said, probably right up in here somewhere, <laughs> where the train depot was, passengers coming from here, to there, and then heading northbound, not realizing that it was going to be an eventful morning. Um, <clears throat> now, what I'm going to do is actually, I'm going to keep the video rolling. And actually, no, no, I'm going to make another video. I'll do a brief one of 
you know, the sit the mirror the square, and then um, kind of give you a little idea about Sherman, and you know, coming through there. It ain't gonna be a much because I'm have to do a lot more research on Sherman's march, and then um, I'll see about. Um, I don't know. I'm, I may just go ahead and do it. I may walk over towards where uh, Henry Cole and his hotel was. Again, you know, I, this is not my best video. I apologize. I have been sick. I haven't been doing my research as much as I should have been. But I will be doing a better video soon. But I just want to give you, give you all a brief idea of, you know... The, uh, the Andrews raid and again expect another and hopefully a better video thank you